introduce myself. My name is Amadou Sek, co-producer for Love is a Verb. Nalady Yahuma, co-producer. Give it up for Nalady and these pants and the pants. I love the pants. We are about to jump straight into it, into a conversation that's going to be entertaining, engaging, thoughtful of healthy relationships, dating, marriage, etc. But if you are dating someone, can these values and characteristics be taught? Should we still believe in the potential of someone? A question I ask all my clients, like, would you date you? Would you marry you? Now, you can be biased, right? You can be biased and say, yeah. But I, I think if you're honest with yourself, um, there's some things that you gotta be honest with. And not just, like, like you said, um, uh, on, the, on the physical level, uh, can you be trusted? Do you trust yourself? Social media, how has that affected the dating culture in 2016? When I met my husband here in LA, and when I made a conscious decision to say, you know what, I'm worth more. I'm worth waiting for the one that's going to really win me over for a change. I shouldn't have to do backflips. I shouldn't have to sell myself. We should be in a situation where we both are working extra hard to win the love of the other person. So, you know, there's social media, yes, it can be a distraction, but when the one is ready, none of that matters. And so you just really gotta stay focused and really know your worth and really just stand the test of time. And on Pew Research, they found that it took 18 months if you meet someone online to get to the altar and 45 months if you meet someone offline. If I first start dating you, I'm not even gonna accept your Facebook friend request or send you one because I don't need you going through all my pictures and going through all my business before we've been on a, some actual date because then you're gonna look at the pictures, look at posts and gather your own thoughts on it without getting to talk to me first. So I'm one where I ain't doing that. It's How's that working point. for you? Now we're gonna talk about how sex before marriage has affected relationships in 2016. Uh -oh. Oh. Are we doomed because we're giving up the goodies before we're married? They're going to wait if you want to wait. Now, the self-decision has to be, am I going to lay with this person? Am I going to get down with this person? I still love the hunt. You know what I'm That's saying? Dope. Like, That's if I'm going to see you, I want you, and then we're going to go, you know? Or maybe we don't, whatever. So, if I feel that way, my truth is that, you know, it could be her. It could be her. It could be her. So... That's why I feel like I should date. So I just think that when you really understand who you are as an individual and you really pursue what's really important, sometimes folks get it twisted and love is all of a sudden the thing that's on the pedestal first. I gotta find love, I gotta find marriage. But like he was saying, establish yourself. LA is, is all about opportunity. Most of the people here is opportunity, exposure, all of that. It takes you, you know, take, takes your tunnel vision left or right. But at the end of the day, whether you are the breadwinner, whether he's the breadwinner, you cannot forget discernment in it all. They don't pursue in the same way that men in other areas of the country pursue because they don't have to, because a lot of times women are pursuing the men more, and it's just a different type of beast living in Los Angeles. I mean, that, that is just a fact. But I'm still hopeful. You have to have the sense God gave you to make wise decisions, because if you keep going in circles, that ain't nobody's fault but your own. It ain't the men, it ain't the women, it ain't that it's not a great selection, it's you making foolish decisions. When it is time for you to be in a relationship, if you practice those these 10 keys, your partner will be, and if he practices it too right now, it will be commitment, love and affection, once again, positivity, communication, shared activities, friendship, healthy conflict resolution, support, empathy, and trust. Okay? Emporia. Just remember those things and practice those things because who you are now is who you're gonna be in your relationship. A big part of this event is supporting local businesses, supporting minority-owned businesses, women-owned businesses. I, <laughs> I had a pass, you know. Look at this room. Look how many women are in this room. Beautiful women. So you want a man to lock in to one person when there's so many options? 
You cannot multitask in dealing with multiple personalities. Listen, we having a real conversation or not?